everybody. Today is day number three and we're here, still at Gilbert's. We didn't know, but they have free breakfast here and I missed it yesterday. But we ain't gonna miss it today, hopefully. Yeah, but check it out. Check out the, the dock, got it here. The AC is running without the generator. That's why I slept so good. So we're trying to, we're trying to make it to breakfast because it's almost over, it's almost over. They got me out of bed. <laughs> Because I know you don't reach. <laughs> Where is it? And then? Oh, yeah. Where are the comelones? Look at the comelones. They're going to be eating. Y aquí se lo cae. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Well, when you tell me free food, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll be there. And for that, I'll try to make it on time. And I would like to give a big thank you to Mike from the Keys because he's the one that texted me and let me know. All right, so we just got our bellies filled with some good free breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't have to cook, so she feels happy. Right, look at him, he ate about 17 waffles. So it was good. And we missed it yesterday, we didn't know about that. Oh man. Took like the hydro. Chilling, chilling. And while the rest of my crew stayed at the hydro, I decided to go ahead and take a walk to the beach here at Gilbert's because I forgot that they have another contest this morning. So while we're tied up in the back of the docks, it's pretty quiet back there and you can't really tell what's going on. But when you come out to the front, like you can see, there's plenty of people here having fun at Gilbert's B-side. And I just remembered the contest and it's already started. It's treasure hunt. You gotta dive in the water and see how quick you can find the fine objects. And this is open for all family members, from the big ones to the little ones to the medium ones. See how fast you can do it. Wait a minute, I recognize that kid, that's Joel. When did he get here? I didn't see him get out of the boat. So I guess we're gonna see if he's quick enough because you have to find the five objects and you gotta do it within a certain amount of time. So I guess the treasure hunt competition is getting uh, people's attention. It's pretty fun too to watch the people see how fast they can do it. And I'm just here waiting for Joel, but I don't see him in the water. Did I miss him? Oh my god, I think I did. And he's already out. I got distracted with the crowd. Hope he did good. So basically the kids went first and now it's time for the adults. Now, what do you think is faster, the kids or adults? I think I'm gonna go for the kids. And while the rest of the Miami Rally team plays around here treasure hunting, I'm gonna go ahead and walk around Gilbert's and see what everybody else here is doing on this beautiful day because I see there's more people here than yesterday. And remember, you can come here by boat or by car. And if you're thinking of coming by boat from Miami, you could launch off Grandham Park and it's about 31 miles and basically I would say it's about 40 to 50 minute ride. <laughs> <laughs> 
¿Cómo anda? Bien, bien, estamos siguiendo. Ah, ah, gracias, gracias. Bien, mira. ¿Cómo estás? Salud. Salud. Mira, entonces ya se van a ver ya, ¿ves? Están aquí en el, en el Bull Rally también. Yeah. No estamos en el Bull Rally, pero estamos aquí. Ah, qué bueno, qué bueno, gusto. Ah, vinieron en bote de hasta aquí. Sí. Oh, ¿Desde dónde? Oh. Wow. Let me know right. <laughs> it is always a great pleasure to meet the people and watch the channel. And remember, if you see me, call me over. If you want to be on camera, let me know too. Gracias por participar en nuestro evento, que es el primero de muchos que vamos a hacer en Miami. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Actividad familiar, para que vengan con toda su familia aquí a buscar. Gracias bueno. a Presco, Presco Channel, un gran aliado que tuvimos durante todo el, el rally, inclusive antes del rally, una gran ayuda, un gran apoyo. Esperamos contar con Presco en los otros eventos. Gracias. Gracias, gracias. But now it's time to watch the awards. Because remember, this is a rally and you get points and there's a lot of contests. So we're gonna see who won. The coolest boat. Otto, Otto. Otto, Otto. The coolest boat. Darío, Darío, vente. Otto Valdez y todo tu grupo. Vamos, una, dos y... Ya, dale. Centro, centro. El ancla, el ancla. El ancla. And there were plenty of awards to go around and mine was the most liked picture on instagram and i would like to thank all those people that follow me on instagram for helping me win and if you don't follow me on instagram go ahead and do so so on the next one we can win again and i'm going to take another stroll through the docks before we start heading out because we don't want to leave too late because we have to ride back to miami load up the boat at grandam park and then another hour ride on the road with the boat to the house and then we have to unload the boat that we packed for a week and also most of the people have left already so it's only about 10 boats left from the rally but here at the tiki is one of those places that you don't want to leave hey. Well guys, if I keep strolling around, I'm never gonna leave this place because there's always something to do or to eat or people to meet. And it has been a great three days here at the Miami Boat Rally, meeting people, meeting their families and doing a lot of activities. And the best thing of all is being on the boat, being on the water, because that's what we love. But now we got back to the hydro, we gotta situate everything and definitely pick up the shore power and get going. But before we leave, I gotta introduce you to this really cool guy I met. When I'm here with a good friend, Mike, I'm gonna call you Mike from the Keys. There you go, Keys Mike. So when I come down here, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna call you up since so you gave me your number and then you know, we can hang out. For sure, man. One of these years, because it's so busy, but you know, it's nice to have friends everywhere, you know? Yeah, you you never sure. know. You never do, you got that Ramirez, Ramirez. Yeah, yeah, he actually helped me out because I was running low on gas and instead of moving the boat, we used uh, a 14 gallon, um, uh, I guess, carry along, portable. 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 Yeah. And then he took me to the gas station. We put 14 gallons. And since my boat is a hybrid, <laughs> I might make it to Miami with 14 gallons. We'll see. And farewell to Gilbert. Till next time. And you couldn't ask for any better weather because it's bright and shiny. And look at that. We were the last ones to leave Miami 
and we're the last one to leave Gilbert's. But it doesn't matter to me because when I'm on the water, the last thing on my mind is time. And while some of us have to leave because we have a long way back home, others are still here enjoying Gilbert's because the day is beautiful. And it's a little windy and it got a little chop but it's okay because the hydro is cutting really good and if you guys been through here before you know exactly what bridge that is yep car sound bridge and if you guys are thinking about coming down here it's not that bad of a ride because most of the time it's pretty flat just one good thing to do make sure you fill up because there is no gas station in this 30 mile stretch so at this pace in this condition we should be at random park marina with no problem but all of a sudden I get a phone call and a reminder that I have some friends hanging out at Elia Key and I told them we were gonna stop by. And yep, you guys know him already. He's a line that we always hang out here at Boca Chita and Elia Key. Well guys, there goes that idea of getting home early. But you know what? You can't leave your friends hanging, especially out in the water. So we tried to anchor next to him, but it's too windy. So we anchored apart and a line picked us up with his tender. And now we're gonna go to the big boat. Talking about luck, I think we came right on time because he's doing steak on the barbecue. I guess this is one of those things at the right place at the right time. And the smell of cooking steak on the barbecue is killing me because, you know, I try to slow down eating red meat, but I think today it doesn't count. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. Hanging out with friends and family here eating barbecue. And we're gonna witness a beautiful sunset. I mean, what else can you ask for? And we're on the water. So we hanged out here about two hours. We got to catch up on some Boca Chica good times, but it's time to head out because we still got to ride back to Miami. And you gotta love this personalized ferry service thanks to Alancito. And thanks to Alain and his friend for letting us hang out for a few hours on his boat and eat some delicious red meat. But it's time to pick up anchor and keep going north towards Grand Park. And remember guys, 
make sure to check out all three videos of the Miami Boat Rally Weekend. All the links are gonna be below, so check them out and let's keep having fun in the sun. Oh, and by the way, those people that love and enjoy the long videos and out on the boat, out on the water, and island exploring, I have a big surprise coming soon. So until next time, catch you guys out on the water.